We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey, I live on a job. Right. Yeah, I'm always at work. Right. Real people stay by me. Right. Haters wanna do hurt. Right. No, they tryna stop me. Right. Drag my name through dirt. Right. I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way. Yeah. Let me show you how Christ Himself, Jesus the Christ, right? Who is a black man, right? He looks like just like us, right? He stated that the so called white man. Is the devil that the Bible speaks of for stealing your yeah, right? You ever got any? Yeah, have you ever been robbed before? No. Have, have you known anybody that grew up, got robbed? How how how, were, how did they feel after they, after they got robbed? Was it a good feeling? Were they happy? You know. Were they excited? They were mad as hell, right? Mad as hell because they were robbed of 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 whatever possession it was, whether the phone, right. shoes, sneakers, right. Right. Uh, the car. Right. Uh, going in, somebody getting robbed in their house, TVs, and all that stuff, right? You pissed off because you worked hard for whatever it was that you owned, right? The same thing happened to us. We had land, right? We had wealth, we had cattle, we had children. Right, we right. Had right. Right. And all of that was ripped and stolen, taken away from us. Why? Because of our disobedience to God. Bring right. it out. We'll read that. The book of Revelations, chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring it out. I know thy works. And tribulation and poverty. Tribulation means like difficult times, things that you go through, rough times, right? As black people as a whole, uh, do we not go through a lot of tough times? Bring it on. Months, uh, what is it? Uh, living paycheck to paycheck, right? right? That's tough times. Living in the projects, in the hoods, in the slums, the ghettos. Right. America and across the world, is that not a tribulation? That's not rough times, right? Uh, going through having, uh, getting shot in the street, right? Right, right. Having your own brother that you trust and that you love, right, come over and rob you. Right, right. That's reality of our situation, right? Right, right. We rob our, of our own, we steal, we shoot of our own. These are the tribulations that we go through, right? Right. And poverty. And poverty. Are we not a poor people? Black people are, poor, are we not poor? Yes or no? Bring it on! You might see the... The homeboy down the block with the Benz, don't, that's not being rich. Right. Being rich in God's eyes is talking about wealth as a nation. Right. right. Do we have our own nation here in America? Bring it up. Do we have our own state, the, the state of black? Do we have that? Do we have our own city? Bring it up. No, we don't, right? So everywhere we are, we just live in there and they just put us, that's why they call it, uh, what, the project, right? Right. right. It's a, it, it's, it was designed and, and, and built solely so that we could live there and be kept confined. Look at this, hold on, look, look right behind you. What's that right there? Look, look, what's that right there? You see the home, the project, right, right in front of it, a fence line, right? What do they do to animals? Teach. In the zoo. Bring it out. No! Huh? So, are we any different? Why do, why do we have to live in a cage? Right. You go, you go down the block, now you got a house. What's on the house, what's on the windows and the doors? What's on the, what's on the windows and the doors of your house? Huh? Lock, but what else? What, if the ones in North, you've been in North Miami, right? You never, you ain't been in North Miami? They got cages on the, the they got uh, metal no bars, bars, right? Metal right. bars on right. the fence and the, and the doors, right? Right. right? right, Why is that in? Why, why is that? Is that to keep the people out or to keep the people in? <laughs> it's to keep the pin, right? Read that. But thou are rich, and I know the blasphemy. We are rich because the promises of this Bible pertain to us. Right. Right. Everlasting life. Right. Right. Um, living, literally living forever. Riches right. that you can't even imagine. Right. What, what type of iPhone is that? It's an iPhone 8, right? How much it costs? Roughly. Huh? Maybe, let's say like $500, right? Three to $500, right? That, that, ain't, that ain't rich. Right. right. You owning a BMW, that ain't rich. Right. You owning a uh, um, you owning a Mercedes Benz, that ain't rich. Right. You, you having to pay a mortgage on a $250,000 house, and at the end of the day, 
you really paid over half a million dollars for that house, you're not rich. Right, then right. You having to work forever, that's not rich. God says that we are rich as a people. Why? Because the promises of this Bible pertain to us. Right. And all the promises of everlasting life, riches, glory, all that belongs to us. Right. 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 Read that again. And I know the blasphemies. And I know the blasphemies of them which say they are Jews. So there's people out there that say that they are Jews. Is there right. not, DJ? Right? The Jewish man, right? He claims that he is a Jew. Right? Read. And are not. So he said, I know the blasphemy. What's a blasphemy? You know? By definition? No? Okay. I'll, I'll help you out. A blasphemy is very simply a lie. Right. So God yeah, yeah. says, I know the lies of them that say that they are Jews. But are not right. Okay, why? Because because they are not the people. Did they go through slave ships? Did, were they were they enslaved? They were right? They weren't. They weren't enslaved like we were, right? Did they go through all this? They didn't, right? Read read that again. And I know the blasphemies of them which say they are Jews uh -huh. and are not. So and they are not. Now we're gonna prove to you how you can tell. Somebody that is a Jew and who's not a Jew. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. So we're going to show you that the white man that says he's a Jew is a liar and the devil that the Bible speaks of. Right. Right. Why? Because he stole everything that belongs to us. Right. Right. We're in a low estate or a low condition now, yes. But God says that at the end of the day, this whole world going to be turned upside down. Right. 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 This nightmare going to be over with. You ain't going to have to worry about waking up, trying to find, you got a job? You ain't got a job. How old are you? 18. Okay, so you still got some ways. You live with your parents? Alright. So, what you, what's your plan for your future? What, what, what do you got? We got plans. Okay, so you, your first plan is NFL, and then the next one is a real estate loan. That's not a bad plan, okay? But God said that he has better plans for you. Right. Right. That plan is garbage in his eyes. Right. Not to say in the worldly sense, that might be a, a successful career path, right? But in God's eyes, he said he got even better for you, right? right. right. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. So Bring it out. We're going to prove that these people right here are the Jews that the Bible speaks of. Right. right. Black people, right? American blacks, the West Jamaicans, right? Haitians, right? All the way down, Puerto Ricans, all the way down, Mexicans, Argentinians, uh, Colombians. They are the true Jews that the Bible speaks. Right. That's right. right. Give me, uh, verse, 15. verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right. who observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So now, you heard that DJ? He said that a curse shall come upon God's chosen people, or the Jews, or also known as the Israelites. Right. Okay. God said that curses will come upon them. Right. Okay. What is a curse a good thing? It's not, right? So if you get cursed, right? You ever heard of like voodoo or anything like that? Usually, what happens? There's bad things happen to that person, right? So God said He's going to curse a whole nation of people, the Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We are all cursed all the way from. 1492 till now, right? Right, right. So now, check, check this out. We're going to read these curses, and it's going to actually identify who God is talking to. And it's very important. Verse 32. Verse 32. Huh? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So now, in 1492, 1619, right? We were, were we not sold and cargo slaves? Yes, sir. Right. We were, right? Now, those people, when we got sold, okay? Listen, listen up, DJ. When we were sold, right? The children, when we had children, did we, were we able to raise our own children? Bring it out. We weren't, right? What, what did they end up doing? They ended up selling the children away. Yes, or no? Bring it out. They did, right? So, so far, look right here, right? There's a family on, on a, a literal slave market, on a, plant, uh, on a slave market getting sold. Guess what happened? They get cheaper. You ever heard of, um, what do they call it? The chop shop, right? You heard of chop shop before? 
right? Because sometimes it, it, it's actually more lucrative. Make, made it, you can make more money if you chop up the the, the car and you right. sell it for parts, right? right. Yeah. Just like with a family. I don't want the whole family unit. I don't need two two little girls and a boy and then the father. I just need the father for, for hard labor. Right. That's what happened to us, right? They sold us off individually to make more money off of us, right? Right. And we had, did we have any control over that? We didn't, right? Green? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So given or sold unto a different, another people, right? Is the, the white man the same people as us? No, right? So God said that a different people, not the same nationality of people, but a different people that we would be sold unto, right? Green? And thy eyes shall look and fell with longing for them all the day long. So now, if you were if you were sold, how do you think your parents would, would feel? You think they would come come look for you? You think they would ever try to stop? You think they'd be happy? Oh, good. They got rid of that kid. Keep going. They'd be mad as hell, wouldn't they? Right. So, so you, your parents would be mad as hell. They'd be crying, upset, um, angry. You know, all types of emotion, right? Guess what? That happened to us daily in in historically in, in slavery. Right. right. Unto this day, right? Right. Because it's still taking place today. Right. We we have uh was it the highest rates of um uh human trafficking right. happens in the black and Hispanic community. Right. right. We have the highest rates oh, of that to this day. Sixty five thousand a year, right? Right. Yearly. And we have the highest rates of that. Why? Because because the curse is still taking effect. Right. It changes. It doesn't. It, it, it's not the same as far as um, chattel slavery, but it still takes the same effect as before. Right. right. And there shall be no might in thy hand. So, like we talked about DJ, right? There's no might, meaning no what? What's might? You say you want to be in the NFL, right? If I say that 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 brother right there, that linebacker, he got might. What, what, what am I saying? He hit that dude hard with might. What am I saying? With what though? He, he just bumped him. What he did? With power, right? With God said that we won't have might, meaning we won't have power. Right. Did we have power to get our children back? We didn't, out. right? We have no no form of economic or money, right? We didn't have economic power. We didn't have um, whatever political. political power, right? We didn't have um, huh? military. military military power as well, all right? All these things they they and they took our children away from us. So, right. so far, we went into slave ships. We read that in the Bible, right? So that fits us. And God taught, said he was talking to the Israelites, which are these people right here. Do it up Benjamin Levi, right? So now, you see that there's a, there's a name change, right? Your parents, they, they're African-American? Okay, so God said, God would refer you as from the tribe of Judah. Right, right. right. right? Now, on your application, when you, you're trying to go to school, right? When you fill out that application for college, you have you filled out a couple years? For college yet? You have, right? So when they ask you about your race, what do you put down? Do you put down Judah? Do you, do you put down Israel? No, you don't. What do you put down? You put down black. Why? Because your mask, your mask is black. Okay? But bring it your out. skin tone is a, a, a deep brown or a dark right. brown. Right, right, right. right. Yes. So you can't be black. Right. You're a brown. You're right. a brown-skinned man. Bring it out. So, so off rip, that's wrong, right? So your nationality, that like they, they, uh, that they talk, that they've shown to us, that's listed on your application for your school, is wrong off rip. Right. right. So we're going to show you that in the Bible, right? Verse thirty-seven. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight, verse thirty-seven. Bring it out. out. And now shall become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. So, DJ, what's a byword? Yeah. If, if I say, if I, your name is DJ, right? Let's say, I'm going to call you JD. That, that's a different, is that your name? It's not. You're going to be upset? So, God, a byword is the changing of your name. Right. right. You understand? God says that your name will literally change. How? What's your last name, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah. Prove. You think that's 
that's your family name all the way from back from the time we were in Africa? How do, how do you think your family got that name? How? They just, uh, I'm, I'm a Cruz now. We the Cruz family. Bring it out. How? How did they get it? Peach, Mark. Huh? People meet new people. Get Isaiah. 65? 65. Yep, guys. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how that name changed. Because just like this name changed, right? To list it on your application, you have to put black now, right? Instead of instead of a Jew, instead of being called a Jew, now you're listed as black. Now every time you say Jew, you think of who? Who do you think the Jews are? Huh? The Jewish people, which are what? The red, they're not white, they're red. Right, right. Right. They are a, if you look at them, they call them what? Rednecks, right? Why? Because the blood shows through their skin. Right. right. Out. They are literally translucent. Right. <laughs> you right. can see through their skin. They're, they're literally see-through. Right. right. All right. Read that. The book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 15. Bring it out. And ye shall leave your name for a curse among unto my chosen. Hey, DJ, what did that say? And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. So God said that you will leave your name, right? Whatever he, our original our original name was Israel. Right. Right. The twelve tribes of Israel. Bring it well, out. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Reuben. That's right. These were our our original names. God said that He would leave our, our name for a what? Read it again. And ye shall leave your name. For a curse. What did it say, DJ? We left our name for what? A curse. And we said a curse was a bad thing, right? So God said that we would leave our name for a curse. Right. Your last name being true is a curse unto you. Why? Because it's a remembrance that someone else owned your family. Right. Right. More than likely the Cruz family owned your family. Right. You can probably find you know, the Caucasian uh, Cruz. Right. Probably in Spain, probably in uh, Portugal, Portugal, wherever, that owned your family, and more than likely that those are those that people. Right. right. That lineage of them people, they owned your family and they changed your name. Right. So whatever master you had, now nah, that's that's your last name. Right. Right. Read that again. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. So not only were you, DJ, were to leave your family name, but also the Israelites as a whole, all 12 tribes, the Jews would leave their name. Right. Being called black. Are you a black man? No, but we discussed that you're different shades of brown, right? Right. Us as black people are different shades of brown. Right? So we would literally leave our name for a curse. Right. Being called anything else other than the name that God gave you, just like it pisses you off, right? If I were to change your name, just stop telling you that. How do you think God's going? Yeah, bring it on. His, his people got put into slavery and they changed our name. Bring it on. You think God is happy with that? You think you think God is pleased that somebody else is calling themselves Jews now? Right. And they're not? Bring it on. You see, you see where I'm going with it? You are precious in the eyes of God. Right. That's right. Not only you, but all so-called black people. That's right. right. Because we are the Jews of the Bible. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.